Hey, I'm Ron Prince, Vice President of Process Management for Macy's and, and Logistics and Operations. Is this your first Lean Conference? No, it's, it's the second one I've been to. And what is your favorite part of this particular conference? I think the interaction of the people here. I think uh, not just the presentations and the workshops and and, uh, and those things, but just uh, all, all the dialogue, conversation that happens with people in the hallway. You learn a lot that way. What are the trends in Lean Six Sigma today, and how have those trends changed over the past several years, if at all? Well, I think, you know, part of it is going from manufacturing, and in my case, going from manufacturing into other types of uh, industries. But I think what I've seen, both from from my own experience and then people that, that I interview for jobs and things like that, I think there's a lot less emphasis on the hardcore statistics and people are getting more back to the basics on, uh, you know, waste reduction, uh, you know, streamlining flow, layout of the buildings and things like that. Are there any specific lessons or insights you hope attendees are able to take away from your keynote address today? Uh, yeah, this is a lot of hard work. If you're going to keep, uh, you know, keep it up year after year after year, getting results, it's going to take a lot of effort. And the main thing you have to do is your effort and your resources have to remain relevant to the business. Uh, Got to work on the right things, and get results. In your career, as you've learned about the power of Lean and Six Sigma in a company and an organization, particularly with Macy's, uh, has there ever been a time when? You got it wrong on the first try. What lessons have you learned from the mistakes you may have made? Well, I think not, not a specific project, but maybe multiple projects is, you know, we, you know, we go through just like other companies do. We, we, you know, everybody gets the training. You learn to make. You learn the five principles of lean and all the tools and the methodology. Uh, and we tend to try to treat it as a cookbook sometimes, but none of it's a cookbook. And I, th I think we learned a lot from that. And, and it's more about applying the tools than applying the you know, the, 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 the whole cookbook. In your opinion, what industries or organizations today have the most success uh, being seen through the use of Lean and Six Sigma disciplines? Well, you know, I think manufacturing has always been successful uh, in it, but uh, just from where I sit, and at least at Macy's from our observations, we've been very successful in, in uh, you know, and, and branching out from our, you know, logistics world into the stores and omni-channel and, and the whole supply chain. I think there's a lot of success going on with that. And what industries or organizations today stand to benefit most from an implementation of Lean and Six Sigma? Well, I think the easy target, especially, you know, part of my background is uh, was in defense industry for over 18 years before coming to Macy's. Uh, but I think anybody looks at what's going on in the government today. There was an issue in the last presidential election. If you remember, one of the candidates said, you know, we need to uh, implement Lean Six Sigma. Uh, I, I think, but, you know, you've got to have the right culture to be successful. And you can throw all the tools at it in the world. Uh, I've known people who have gone into the healthcare industry, you know, f within the past few years. And, and they talk about a lot of stuff that's, that's going on there and a lot of opportunity. All right, just to take you back a little bit, how many people recognize more than, say, five of these that your company has tried over the years? Anybody remember total quality management? Okay, let, in one of our classes, Larry asked, he posed the question, uh, is TQM dead? And that, that was the whole assignment. Uh, so I researched about 20, 25 different ones. Well, I can tell you, uh, in my time at Lockheed Martin, we took a stab at every one of these. And, I mean, you know, dot stars, anybody, anybody ever hear that one? All right. That, that was one that not, not a lot of people, but, you know, Crosby, uh, Bill Conway, you know, waste, uh, eliminate waste, all of those things. And then I can remember when, uh, back in the, I guess it was in the 90s, you had two camps. You had people who were trained in lean, you had people who were trained in Six Sigma, and they were arm wrestling over which one was the most important. Uh, I, I think, uh, you know, if you've been, been doing it a while, you'll find out that the integration of the two is what had to happen. They, they really work together, they, they come together to give you the most power in the effort that you got. So, when they failed in the companies, or they didn't really take off, uh, did they fail because they weren't sound approaches? 
and, and, and I love Lean and Six Sigma into that too, although I think that's by far the best methodology that's come along in a long time. But I do know that there are companies who just couldn't make it work. Um, it might have worked a couple of years, it might have worked five years, but eventually it, it, it went by the wayside. So do you think they weren't, uh, weren't good approaches? So, I mean, some of them obviously were more effective than others. <clears throat> I think some of them were probably a next generation of the ones that came before them. You know, we always learn, we always learn the tools and the techniques, and we kind of package them differently and, and expand on them. The combinations, of, you know, some are combinations. I think the most, uh, you know, most popular one is Lean Sigma. If you, I've heard it called Lean Sigma, Lean Six Sigma, Lean and Six Sigma. Uh, but the bottom line is those, those two things working together. Um, but like I said, even Lean and Six Sigma have failed in some companies. Are really, even if they haven't failed outright, they, they, they've left a lot on the table. 